Good morning, everybody. It's Jennifer Lockwood, your local realtor here in Fairfield, Connecticut with Caldwell Banker. It is Thursday, I think, Thursday morning. These days mesh, mesh together. Um, wearing my glasses today because my eyes are so tired from looking at screens, which is kind of what we're all doing these days. Um, but I wanted to hop on because there is um, some information out there regarding mortgage forbearance and there's some misconceptions and I wanted to give you a link um, for you to get more information to make sure you're very clear on what this is and what the CARES Act is providing. So due to COVID-19, the CARES Act and the government has provided a program called mortgage forbearance. And what forbearance is, is a short term remedy for people in financial uh, distress due to COVID-19. And what it is, is, is a delay of or a pause of your mortgage payment. And there's some requirements that you need to meet for this to happen for you. Um, if you, first of all, if you have a loan that is a government backed loan, you um, have to have a FHA, VA, USDA, or it has to be backed by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. That is what is under the CARES Act. It doesn't mean that private um, mortgage institutions aren't doing it. The number one thing you need to do is call your mortgage company, no matter what. They are your contact for this. They're the one that can give you all the information and you have to apply for it. It's not automatic. So don't miss your mortgage payments. You have to apply for this program. And if you qualify, then you, you can get the benefits from it. Who is this forbearance available to? It's available to anyone that either has lost their job due to COVID-19, who has to take care of somebody due to the, the pandemic, who might be sick, who can't work, or has major um, income loss due to the pandemic. So if you meet any of that criteria, um, also, like I said, a government-backed loan, um, and what's interesting about this program is that you then have to work with your mortgage company to determine how you're going to pay your mortgage back because you're not forgiven anything. Um, you can, there's three options that you work out with your mortgage company. You either have to, when the time period is over, you have to either pay in a lump sum. You can um, do a repayment plan in which you might pay a little bit more every month in your mortgage, or they could add it to the end of your mortgage um, and extend your mortgage. But every mortgage company is different, so make sure that you call them to see what they are offering you for this program. So a couple of things to be aware of. Um, your interest will still accrue during this time period. You don't have to pay it, uh, obviously, because you're part of the program, but it will accrue and be added on however you work that out with your mortgage company. Um, the mortgage companies will not report this to the credit bureau that you have missed payments, so it will not affect your credit score. And then um, lastly is that they will not charge you a late fee or interest on a late fee during this time period as well. Also be aware of potential scams out there. Um, email, text, phone calls, they're going to try to uh, pull you in into a program that would look like this uh, CARES Act mortgage forbearance, but just know your contact is your mortgage servicer. That is the only contact you should be dealing with uh, in this case. For more information, go to consumerfinance.gov backslash coronavirus. It will give you all the details on this mortgage forbearance program. Whatever you do today, be safe, be healthy. I hope you get outside and enjoy this beautiful day and have a good one. See you next time.